Well, former Minister Russell says he's willing to make amends with Prime Minister Ingram under the right conditions. Russell told ZNS News today that he's hurt by the turn of events which abruptly ended his career in government and cordial relations with the Prime Minister, but that he isn't about to compromise his rights. Here's Clint Watson. If the Prime Minister decides that he wants to talk to me, we could talk and we could resolve whatever the differences are. A first step, perhaps, to the free national movement putting this stumbling block behind them ahead of next year's critical general election. Former Housing Minister Kenneth Russell says at no time did he ever feel he had the power over Prime Minister Ingram, nor was he challenging the Prime Minister in his role. The Grand Bahamian says for him, going into that termination meeting was more about expressing the view that he wanted to be treated as a human being with respect. 58-year-old Russell, who sat in Parliament earlier in the morning session for the first time as a backbencher, is still mulling over in his mind what has transpired between he and the man up to this time he called friend. My feelings have been shaken towards a man that I truly loved, a man that I love as though he was my own father, and uh, a man that I put myself between him and two persons before who wanted to do harm to him a man that I would, probably, would have probably laid my life for. It was evident during our interview that this issue took on a personal nature between the two. Russell claims the ordeal has not shaken his confidence in the FNM, nor Mr. Ingram in his role as Prime Minister. And all the while I thought we were friends, I was working on the wrong assumption. And I'm going to hide myself by thinking that we were friends and by keep treating him as though he was my friend, as opposed to just being my boss. If I had, had thought for one second that it had gone this far, I would have started treating him as my boss as opposed to my friend. Got a lot of respect for Ms. Ingram. Um, of course, that has been shaken right now, but a lot of respect for Ms. Ingram. But I noticed from 2008 that the relationship um, went sour. Uh, yes, I did my best to, to um, show that everything was still a okay. I went to see him a couple of years ago and said to him, look here, yeah, um, what is the problem? Uh, he told me there is no problem. We asked a High Rock MP if he feels this matter will negatively affect his party going into an election. He says his party doesn't think so, but he's of the view any negative issue can be damaging. Even if only one or two persons decide that they're upset because of this, it has impacted the party, yes. No. I, don't think we could, I don't think we could afford um, um, letting any vote go in this coming up election. I think every vote we could get, we could get. Do you think the party's in trouble in winning the next election? I think that the party is, ch is, is um, challenged tremendously because of the situation in the country. Not situation, do, uh, um, it wasn't done by the party or the government, but it was done by international um, um, forces, and those international forces still at, at play. It's not been easy for Russell, who makes no apology for the stand he's taken. Although he has come under criticism, he says, from strong FNM supporters, who he says have torn his name to pieces. Sadly, coming out of this ordeal is alleged threats to his children, something he doesn't take too kindly to. I told my children to wash their back. That's why I never let anyone of them know my children or where they live. Because my children have nothing to do with this political thing. Now tomorrow we talk to Kenneth Russell about what transpired and whether or not he'll continue his petition to seek the nomination for the new East Grand Bahama seat under the FNM. Clint Watson, ZNS News.